Hello dreamers, in this video we are going to talk about the Canadian Experience Class Program for Express Entry of Canada. We are going to talk about the overview, we are going to talk about its eligibility criteria and we will also talk about all the details that basically you need to know about the Canadian Experience Class Program. So if you are interested, stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad. If you want to immigrate to Canada or Australia without paying hefty fee to the consultants, please visit my channel. I've got tons of videos on the immigration process of both of these countries and I regularly upload videos every week. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the overview. Now the Express Entry Program has basically got three programs under it. The first one is the Federal Skilled Worker Program. The second one is the Canadian Experience Class and the third one is the Federal Skilled Trade Class Program. The Federal Skilled Worker is of course for the NOC 0, A and B. The Federal Skilled Trade Class is for NOC C. And the Canadian Experience Class, this is something different. It is for skilled workers who have Canadian work experience and want to become permanent residents. So if you have the working experience in Canada, in that case, you can apply for the permanent residency of Canada and you would apply through the Canadian Experience Class program. Okay, so let's check out the eligibility requirements. The work experience. You should have at least one year of skilled work experience in Canada in the last three years before you apply, of course. The work should be full-time or an equal amount in part-time and have gained your work experience by working in Canada legally. So in last three years, you should have one year of Canadian work experience. So this is especially for people who have been working there on the work permit. Now the skilled work experience means that you should have worked for the skill level zero jobs, which is the managerial jobs or the skill level skill type A jobs which is the professional jobs or the skill type B jobs, the technical jobs and the skill trade jobs. If you don't have any idea about it, I'll provide a link in the description box and that video will tell you about the different types of NOC codes for the Express Entry program. Now the language test score, it should be CLB7. Right, now this very important point which needs to be noted over here that if you plan to live outside of the province of Quebec, in that case only you can apply for the Canadian Experience Class. So, which means that applicants who have planned to live and work in Quebec or who have gained their work experience in Quebec do not qualify for this program and should consider the Quebec Experience Class as an alternative. So, you should be very particular about it if uh, you have the work experience of working in Quebec in Montreal or any other cities in that case, you should consider the Quebec Experience Class program and not the Canadian Experience Class program. Okay, the advantages. Now, first of all, of course, with the Canadian Experience, you would get more CRS points. So additional CRS points would give weightage to your CRS score and you would get your ITA pretty early. Right now, the very important point and the other point which actually distinguishes it from the other uh, two programs is that you're not required to show proof of funds or settlement funds in the case of the Canadian Experience class, which means that uh, you need not show them the hefty amount like the uh, you know twelve thousand or the fifteen thousand dollars in your account if you're applying through the Canadian Experience class. They assume that if you have been working in Canada, in that case, you are aware of the situations and you can take good care of you and your family. Okay, now the process. So it's basically divided into eight different simple steps or you can say that I've divided the complete process into eight different simple steps. The first one is of course getting a job in Canada. So, so you can get that job like getting a transfer within your company to any location in Canada or maybe getting a different job in Canada, things like that. Now you have to work there for a minimum of one year. So this is the second step, of course. In that case, only you will be eligible for the Canadian Experience class. Now, 
the further steps are similar as of the FSW program like uh, you should have uh, get your ECA done which is your education credential assessment after that you should uh, have uh, your language proficiency test score ready with you then you can create your express entry profile after that if you have you know good score just like uh, currently the good score I would say something above 440 or you know 445 in that case you would get your ITA you should collect your documents after that submit your application pay the application fees after that you'll get the confirmation of the permanent residence and then you can get the PR card after getting your COPR COPR is basically the confirmation of permanent residence so this is uh, the uh, breakdown of the complete process into eight simple steps I just hope that uh, it would help you in understanding the complete process overall so thank you guys for uh, watching this video I hope that the complete process and the requirements and the overview is quite clear to you if you have any queries or questions please comment down in the comment section below thank you so much for watching this video please click the like button if you think it was helpful for you and share it with your friends if you think it can be helpful for your friends and also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet